welcome to the studio of Miguel Flores. Born in 1935, his life was devoted to art and making the world more beautiful. He loved the seas and the ocean. He loved the woods and beautiful women. Here you can see his water-based oils and his charcoal drawings, this of Sarah. He also was inspired by the greats. And this is a study of one of Sargent's paintings. Girl in the Woods, a water-based oil. Here is an early piece from about 2005 based on Monet's wonderful water lilies. And here is a painting he did in 2021 of Sarah. This is one of the Round Valley series. And he had a great love for tango and the beautiful music of tango. He even was inspired by musicians and wonderful pianists he saw on television. He got his inspiration everywhere. When he was in the first grade, his teacher said, you are going to be an artist. And sure enough, that's what happened. In this very studio, he hosted the Brentwood Yacht Club and we had many wonderful, fun events and sharing of art with the public. Again, you see his love for the wild and wonderful ocean. The crashing waves of the Pacific. Here is one of his major contributions. Giverny Morning, based on Monet's gardens. And when he visited there years ago, there were two girls in the garden that inspired him. Belly dancing and tango were a constant source of inspiration. And when the circus came to town, he went on location when the circus came to Brentwood. And here inside the house, we continue on and see his portraiture. He would do scenes of Brentwood that catch his eye. And this was in a corner of the Catholic Church on the side yard, the Virgin Mary. Venus and Adonis, 
a huge undertaking and he loved the Delta. Miguel did a painting on location there. Back to Venus and Adonis, shaped from clay, poured into bronze, patinaed, a major, major accomplishment of his later years, his gift to the world. And here are the Giverny girls again. One of his earlier paintings from 1963, when he lived in Ibiza, Spain, as an artist there. And in one of the other rooms of the house is the painting of downtown Brentwood and one he dedicated to Titania and Oberon when he performed in the production as Oberon. Here is his beloved Mount Diablo. and a glimpse of 11 ladies dancing from his collection of the 12 days of Christmas. He excelled with pastels and color. This is before the dance from 2008. And here is his granddaughter, Fiona in a beautiful charcoal sketch. Tango is in his blood. And here is one of the early Monet studies, water lilies. It's called Morning. And once again, Giverny Gardens and back to the ocean. In the woods, the violin is played to the wood nymph. The lush colors blend. And here is the first of the Round Valley series after the rains came following a huge drought and the rivers overflowed and spilled. Michael went to the valley, took lots of pictures and created paintings from that source. He often taught himself by studying the great masters. And here is another study of the lady with the umbrella by Monet. Again, Round Valley And finally, a gorgeous, powerful waterfall. Now Miguel Flores' paintings are finding homes, and Susan Giannini, who was a model for many of his works, takes home some of those paintings to find a special place for them. Friends and family, we're invited to share the beautiful work and see the overview of his life's work. They picked out a favorite painting 
to have in their own home. Thank you to dear, dear family members and friends picking paintings of memories, moments, a sketch from years back, a beautiful Catholic church, friends collecting his work and enjoying it, Mendocino in the woods, Thank you, thank you, those of you who provided a home, Margaret and Dave Rosowski. So excited to decorate their home with the beautiful falls and the Mount Diablo paintings. Thank you, Mark. Yes, this is the studio and work of Miguel Flores.